Hello, I'm John Costner with Frick by Johnson Controls. In today's tutorial video, we would like to cover the process of saving set points, restoring set points, and even changing the operating software flashcard if necessary. The Quantum HD controller allows you two methods in which to save set points. The first method being to save those set points to a USB thumb drive. The second method would be to save the set points actually to the operating software flashcard that is running on the controller itself. Uh, if you do change the operating software flashcard, you will receive the flashcard in a static proof bag along with a written set of instructions that tells you exactly how to step by step affect the change of the flashcard. First step in which to change the, uh, or excuse me, to save the uh, set points to a USB thumb drive would be to open the controller door, which we will go ahead and do at this time. Now that we have the door of the Quantum HD controller open, the first thing we would want to do would be to attach an anti-static wristband to a ground point to avoid any static discharge damage. Secondly, then we would install our USB drive into one of the USB ports and then you'll make sure that it mounts by seeing that the red light comes on or whatever indicator device is on the uh, USB that you're using. At this time we'll go ahead and close the door and go through the process of changing or saving the, uh, the set points. Now that we have the door closed on the Quantum HD controller, we can go ahead and do the process of saving the set points file to a USB thumb drive. The first part of doing this will be to log in to the controller by hitting log in and entering in your personal identification number and then pressing enter. Once we've logged in, the login button now changes to menu. So if we touch menu and then select the service icon on the menu screen you'll see several file tabs will appear across the service page. We want to select software and that brings us to the software save and restore page. The first thing we need to do is give the set points file a name by touching in the field for the set points file name and entering in a, a name for the set points file and for our purposes we will just use the word set and then press enter and you'll see set now shows up as the name for the set points file. The next step will be to determine whether we're going to save locally to the operating software flashcard or to a USB thumb drive. Uh, to do this, we'll enter in the drop down and open up a, a selection box and for our purposes, we will select USB thumb drive. And the next step will be to simply hit save. And you'll see the saving occur uh, through this, the, the, the rotating uh, dial in the center once the screen returns to normal the, the process is complete and at this time we can power down the Quantum HD controller and open the door to replace the operating software flashcard. Now that we have the door of the Quantum HD controller open, the first thing we always want to do is to attach an anti-static wristband to a ground point to avoid any static damage to it that may occur to the, to the board or any other components. Next we will remove the USB thumb drive and set that off to the side. The next step will be to actually remove the current operating software flashcard and we do that by pressing a small black ejector button that is located just to the right of the battery. And as we push that in, we will actually gain access to the card and we can you know, gently pull that card out and set that off to the side. The next step will be to take the card that we received in an anti-static uh, bag, remove that card, and we want to install the card with the manufacturer's information facing outward. Uh, on the flip side is the Quantum HD Q5 uh, label, but again, with the manufacturing data facing outward is the proper position. You can also move your thumb as we're holding the card now, uh, you know, from side to side and you'll feel a lip. If you can feel that lip, the card is in the proper orientation. The next step will be to simply uh, set the card in the rails for the flash card and gently press it in and you will feel it seat once it does properly seat it will definitely uh, you'll definitely feel that it has seated that basically concludes that process now the next step we want to do is we want to reinstall our usb thumb drive uh, with the type of processor we have the usb thumb drive can only be mounted once the uh, processor is fully booted up now from the outside we have a couple of things that we can tell basically that it has booted once the RXTX lights on the analog and digital board starts to flash. Now that the USB thumb drive is installed and we have logged back into the Quantum HD controller, we will once again select Menu, 
then service, and from the service page, once again, the software file tab. Now that we're going to restore the set points, you'll notice a button toward the lower half of the screen for restore set points. And once you push that button, you'll go through a loading process and it'll ask you if you want to restore set points, delete set points, restore default set points, or exit. And for our purposes, we will, of course, select restore. Uh, the next thing you'll see is it'll give you a list of the set points that you saved, either to the operating software flashcard or set points that were saved to the USB thumb drive. And for our purposes, again, we named our set of set points just simply set. So we'll select that as a radio button and then press OK. It's going to ask if you want to restore data, uh, calibration data as well. And in most cases, you will. However, if you are restoring <coughs> or transferring set points from one controller, uh, to another, uh, you may not want to restore the calibration data. Uh, once that has been complete, you'll return to this screen and you'll press exit. It'll ask if you're sure, press yes, and you'll exit out and it'll actually go through a reboot process on the Quantum HD controller and that concludes the process for restoring set points. Now that we've completed the process of saving set points and restoring set points using a USB thumb drive, as well as replacing the operating software flashcard, I'd like to also show you the process of saving a set of set points uh, locally to the operating software flashcard. To begin the process, we must first again log in, and we'll enter in our personal identification number, and press enter, and login changes the menu. Once again, press menu, then the service icon, and from the file tabs, select software. And again, we will enter in a name for the set points file. And for the purpose here, we will enter in set two and press enter. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we are set to save locally, that is the default. So we simply hit save. And you'll see the, uh, the circling icon. And then the screen will change back to normal. And you'll see that we have our set of set points, which is set to, with the date and the time that that set of set points was saved. And that concludes the process for saving a set of set points locally. Uh, once we are completed now, uh, we can go back to home. And once we're on home, you know, we see that our compressor is ready to run. So you simply hit the start button and confirm the start command by pressing yes. And now your compressor is up and running and back in operation. At this time, this concludes uh, the tutorial video on the process of saving and restoring set points as well as replacing an operating software flashcard on the Quantum HD controller. Thanks for watching.